Hi, I'm Christian Haubenhaber, Product Manager at Bloom US. And today we're going to talk about installing Tip-On for doors. Tip-On works with all Bloom concealed hinges and comes in three colors, white, black, and gray. There are three types of Tip-On units. Tip-On for standard doors, which works for door heights that are 48 inches or less. Tip-On for large doors, which works for door heights greater than 48 inches and tip-on for self and soft closed doors. There are two methods for installing tip-on units into your cabinet, either by boring into the side panel or by using an adapter plate. We'll first demonstrate the boring method using our Blumotion and tip-on for doors boring template. For standard door applications, the hole dimensions are 10 mm in diameter and a minimum of 50 mm bored into the panel. For large door applications or self and soft closed door applications, the diameter will remain 10 mm, but the hole must be bored at least 76 mm into the panel. When determining the placement of your tip-on unit, it's recommended that you attach it exactly where the handle would be. As you can see, the optimal placement of the unit in overlay applications is in the bottom of the side panel. The optimal placement for inset applications is in the far side of the bottom panel. Since we have an overlay application, we'll place the unit in the bottom of the side panel. As you can see, I've already made a mark on the side panel where a handle would normally be installed. My drill bit is set for 50 millimeters. Now, all I need to do is line up the tip-on boring template along the edge of the cabinet where I made my mark earlier and drill. Now that we've bored our hole, we can now install our catch plate. There are two types of catch plates, screw-on and self-adhesive. For screw-on, simply align the head of your screw onto the magnetic tip of your tip-on unit. Carefully close the cabinet door so the tip of the screw creates a small indentation on the inside of the door. Then, pre-drill the 2.5 mm pilot hole on the mark you just made and install your catch plate. Self-adhesive catch plate installation is even easier. First, remove the backing on the adhesive side of the plate. Then, place the plate in the middle of your tip-on unit with the sticky side facing out toward the cabinet door. Close the door to adhere the catch plate onto the inside of the door, then apply pressure to ensure strong adhesion. Now that your plate is installed, you can adjust your tip-on unit by turning it to the left and right to change your cabinet side gap. The second method for installing your tip-on unit is by using an adapter plate. There are three types of adapter plates. Inline plates for standard doors, inline plates for large doors, and wing plates for large doors. As you can see, I've made a mark on the side panel where a handle would normally be installed. Since I'm using a standard adapter plate for this application, I'll make a mark at 20 mm and then another mark 17 mm behind that. The setback measurements for each type of adapter plate can be found in our concealed hinge brochure. Now, I will line up the screw-on base plate with the marks I've already made and screw it into the side panel. With the base plate installed, I can clip on the adapter plate and install the tip-on unit. Catch plate installation is the exact same for pre-board and adapter plate applications, and likewise. You can increase and decrease the opening gap and the opening force by turning the tip-on unit left and right. If you have any further questions about tip-on for doors or any of our other products and services, please visit our website at bloom.com. If there are any videos you would like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below.